Hey YouTube, just a quick Monday morning update on uh, a new species of autosynclus I got. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so here they are. Now I ordered what was called orange autosynclus. Now these don't look very orange to me. They did have zebra autosynclus, which I think is what they sent me. I don't know, these still might be young and they might get orange as they grow older. But they're definitely black and white striped, which leads me to think they are zebra autos. But they're just small little guys, about an inch, maybe inch and a quarter. Perfect for this tank, which is just full of algae. And I'm perfectly okay with that. This sits right next to a window, so every morning it gets a nice blast of sunlight. So basically a perpetual algae bloom in this tank but it looks really good when you see this in the morning with the light shining through this algae bloom it's like a fog so it's pretty neat all the plants doing well in here star grass dwarf hair grass algae all kinds of anubias more algae more star grass over here big moss ball up here but I'm going to get these fish in the tank and then we'll take a look at them. So I got them all in the tank. See they're kind of just out exploring their new environment. Got four of them right there. Not the best view. What do we got back here? Snail, something, I don't know, shrimp. It would be nice if they came off the front of the glass, get a better look at them. These are blue velvet shrimp, ember tetras, neon green rasbora, if they can find it. There you go. One of my favorite nano fish, the neon green rasbora. I doubt the camera's picking it up. Ooh, there's a good shine of them. Anyways, I doubt the camera's picking it up, but the top of their bodies are like a neon blue color as well, so it's pretty neat. Really need to get these off the front of the glass, though. I want to see them. They don't seem to be very bashful, though, which is nice. All right, so I threw in a piece of rapashi in the hopes that they would find it. Finally got one off the front of the glass here. I'm pretty sure this is technically not an auto sink list, but that's what they call it in the hobby. I'll have to look up the actual scientific name. They're way more elongated than an auto sink list, so I'm pretty sure they're a different family. But I'll verify that. Oh, there he goes. Where'd he go? He gone. Here they are. Oh, that was a pretty good shot of one. Just kind of a neat alternative to just your common auto sink list, I think. Hopefully they do well in here. Everyone else has managed to find the Rapashi, except for the autos. Maybe they're just not interested. I don't know. Come on. We all want to see it eat. Oh, there's a pygmy Corridora. Kind of forgot those were in there. No idea how many are left in there, but... Once upon a time, there was 25. There's still a big school of them, they just never come out. They hang out back here, back here, under the sponge filter so you never see them. You kind of see them swimming around under there, so there's still quite a few of them in there. Oh, let's see if we can come around to the front and look at this guy. All right, there we go, there's a good look at one. Now that he's in the back, behind all the algae. Boy, I'm gonna have to sell some of these shrimp. Oh, there we go. Yeah, get some of that algae, buddy. My hero. Well, the shrimp certainly love the rapashi. So I think pretty cool, right? Let me know if you think they're cool. I think they're pretty cool. I'm kind of sad they're not the orange ones. So when I looked up the orange ones, they were almost identical, except they were black and orange stripe. But black and white 
stripe is still pretty dang neat. Oh, there we go. There's a male Oki Finoki Pygmy Sunfish. Look how small these guys are. Smaller than the shrimp. They just live in this grass. It's probably been, I don't know, five, six months since I've seen the male. And there's three of them in there. So that's pretty neat. That's encouraging. I'm sure they're just dining on all the shrimplets. All right, so it's been a little over a week since I've had these autos. And it turns out they're not auto sinkless at all. I know I had originally said that I thought they were zebra auto sinkless, but it turns out that they are Nanoptopoma species Peru. And that's coming from Sam Scales at Scales Nature Artist. He pointed that out to me, so thank you, Sam. Here's one up here, just hanging out on a leaf. You can really see how small they are compared to like that male endler that just swam by. So they're still doing well. Also, since filming, I've added some of these guys, which are the green fire tetras. Really enjoying these. So the front are green and the back you can see are red. And it's kind of like a perfect mix between my red ember tetras and the neon green rasboras that are in here. It's like a mix of both of them. So really enjoying those guys too. So I just wanted to bring you an update, let you know everything's doing good. So that's what we got here. Try to pronounce it again. Nanoptopoma species Peru. See they're going to work on the algae. Still just the perpetual algae bloom in this tank. Like I said, I'm perfectly okay with it. Uh, I did get a little too rough with the moss over here and kind of ripped it off the rock. So I'll have to deal with that later. Do a quick little zoom in on these blue velvet shrimp. No, blue pearl shrimp. Pearl, not velvet. So there you go, just a quick uh, Monday update on uh, some new fish I got. All right, YouTube, hope you enjoyed that quick Monday update on the new fish, Nanopt Topoma species Peru, I think, and green fire tetra. Uh, I think I'm gonna start doing just quick little videos on Monday regularly now, so hopefully you enjoy it and have subscribed if you're not a subscriber already, and I'll see everyone on Wednesday.